You want a rain barrel? Huh? This is Preston. And that's Lola. Say hi. What is up guys? Welcome back. Today I want to share with you the topic of the rain barrel. We're going to make our own. It's going to be cheap. And when I research rain barrels on YouTube, a lot of times I found just how to make the rain barrel. They go out and they find a cheap barrel. They make it a rain barrel, but they don't show you how do you make it work with your downspout. And I found an awesome product that works really well that you've got to check it out. Works sweet. Now one of the cool things about this video is when I started to put it together I realized that the product works so well I wanted to make a video about it. That way you guys could uh, see the benefit and maybe if you want this you could pick it up yourself. The rain barrel if holds water it comes from the downspout. Uh, a lot of cheap like eBay and, and stuff like that they'll have little adapters that go to your downspout and it's supposed to filter out the bad things and loose those down the gutter but they don't really do that, they throw it right in your barrel. I found an awesome product from an awesome name that takes all that out, has a visible trap door, you can clean it out in seconds, and all the clean, natural rainwater goes in your barrel. So look, real quick, why do you want a rain barrel? Why do you need it? Couple reasons. One, I've got farm animals. Two, this world's crazy. You never know what's gonna happen. You got sustainable water at your house. You can add barrels add the water you have, potable water that you can boil if you need it. A couple other advantages, watering your garden, stop erosion. A lot of counties have droughts. I got the actual barrel itself for free. Here it is, you've gotta check it out. It's the Fiskars Diverter Pro. You can get this on Amazon for 30 bucks. I shot this video in advance and realized it was such a good product. I'm gonna Tarantino it and take you to the end and start showing you why it's so good now and come back before the installation. This is how it works. It's got a screen here so you can see if there's any debris blocking it. You can clean it out every once in a while. We'll take that off. You can see inside the water comes down, goes across the grate. That's where the debris will collect or it'll go through down through the gutter. Anything that goes down through there goes can, comes out the bottom of your gutter. Any of the clean water that falls through that grate goes to both of these sides, there's a little well here, and that'll come out the hose into your rain barrel. So as long as that's not clogged, you're good. It's pumping out clean water to your rain barrel. Pretty cool. First thing you'll need is your 55 gallon drum or barrel. Got this one from free, second hand. Uh, optional cinder blocks, I'm gonna put it up on cinder blocks to give a little bit more clearance for when I'm filling stuff under it. A little spigot. This one I got a quick trigger, easy on, easy off. A diverter Pro, which we'll go over that as a separate install after we turn this into a rain barrel. Screwdrivers, permanent marker, sawzall, and drill with a spade bit. That one's an inch and a half. Tape measure. Let's do it. Right next to the downspout, you want to level, which I've already... First thing I have to do if you have this style of barrel is uh, the, it's all molded. There's no top that comes off. So what I'm going to have to do is take, uh, see there's a, like a ring around here. I'm going to trace around that ring. Take a jigsaw and cut that out so I can get my arm down in there to install the spigot.
want to measure three inches up from the bottom which is right at the five gallon mark Now with the spigot here, to get this off, we have to remove this. Remember what position it's in. We'll take that off. That'll allow us to take this off and go into the rain barrel. I'm going to pump this thing full of a sealant that will dry clear. We take a level across the top. Make a mark. Number one. This is a two by three downspout. I'm going to go up three and a half inches from number one and make a line. I'll put a two. They come down from two, ten and a quarter. Let's put a line. There we go. Let's test fit it up. See if it looks right. There's a section where the filter is going to go. Put the top on first. There's two little pre-drill holes you'll take right into the gutter. And they supply screws that go into secure. Now the bottom. You go ahead and drill. The diverter is installed minus the piping. I'm going to take it out this side here so I'm going to have to remove this cap. Put the barrel on and we'll get it hooked up. It's this installed just below one of these, this port on this other side. So it's going to go about this high in the barrel. So the easiest way to do that is mark where you want it and we'll spin the barrel around. We can do the cut over here at that point. So I've made my mark. I'm using a one inch spade. Rotate the barrel. There's our mark. Then we'll rotate it around, cut the hose to length, and hook up on both ends. There it is, final product. You can see how I've got the, uh, it's elevated, so if you want to do a five gallon bucket, uh, goat buckets, whatever. Forgot to add one thing to the barrel at this point. Uh, where you installed, where the line comes in, and lets the water in, on the other side of the barrel, just below it, you want an overflow, which is the same as that, but it's just an overflow that leads where the water can drip out when it gets full. It got dark. I couldn't film it. Sorry guys. Make sure you put it overflow. Hey guys, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. If you like my video, click the like, comment, subscribe, or check out the other videos on my channel down there. All kinds of awesome videos. 
check them out, check them out. Also, a lot of cool people, if you didn't like it, check out the other people on my channel called Bad Mofos. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Later. Peace. I just want